he knows when the game is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Brew, are the Warriors on upset alert? Yeah. I mean, I think they're going to win, but they could lose. These are really two <laughs> evenly matched teams. This year, they were two and two against each other. Some hard you know about last year's Brew. game seven or seven game series. So it's going to be a good battle. Look, Sacramento, I think a big problem for them is the injuries. Malik Monk, Kevin Herter. If those two were healthy, you know, people might, they might be the favorites. But with those two out, I think Golden State, we know they've been in these moments, <laughs> that's to say the least. So I think the Warriors win. But sure, they got to take yeah. this seriously because it's one and done. And the last three games between these teams were one point affairs. Yeah. The Warriors won by one, and then the Kings won back-to-back -back games by one. That, that series, like you guys just mentioned last year, the key game of the series, Harrison Barnes had a shot, if you remember, to go up 3-1. Yep. He missed it, and then it ends up being a game seven, and it takes the greatest playoff game, arguably, of yep. Steph's life in order for them to end up. Now, they did win by 20, but it, right. was, it was close until Steph really lit fire at the end. I think Sacramento wins. Wow. I think that... I think Sacramento wins. I think that there is a lot of respect right now, Vegas odds makers understandably, to the history of the Warriors. But I was really bothered, if that's the right word, probably not, uh, by how the Warriors finished the last week of the year when they could have avoided this situation. We, you and I, like, they are, they are a smart team with smart players. They can project confidence. But they know what we know that we were discussing all year, mostly about the Lakers. The difference between being in the 9-10 part of the bracket and the 7-8 part of the bracket and what that affords to you as far as margin of error and ability to actually go on a postseason run. We have never seen a team come out of the 9-10 to go on a real run in the postseason. We've only seen one team ever in the West, at least, come out of the 9-10 to even make the postseason. That was the Grizzlies when they beat the Warriors mm. a few years Small ago. Small sample size. No, of course. It, right, but I exactly. uh, I think that streak continues, by the way. And so I don't think wow. the I don't think the Warriors win tonight. You don't believe Okay, so... Oh, yeah. Where do I want to break this? First off, obviously, you can see Warriors fan here. Okay, so I'm going to be a little bit biased, but I'm going to take off my bias hat because um, I take pride in not being Nick Wright, you know, Chiefs biased super fan. I think the Warriors have this game. I understand what Nick is saying, how the Warriors, you know, were in a chance to be able to do this, um, you know, lock in in the 7-8 round rather than the 9-10. I get that. I understand that. But sports is not just you can just do whatever you want at any given time okay that's not how it works if it was then just tell lebron james to score more points than the other team and then just win every time tell steph well he, you just got to make you know a bunch of these three so just make them and then you'll win every single time that's not, that's not how things work you know sports is both an art and a science so to just say well i don't like how they finished they knew what the what's what the stakes were and they didn't get it done yeah, that happens to every single team under the sun, okay? So, under that logic, these teams only lose. LeBron James only loses. Michael Jordan only ever lost when the stakes didn't really matter, and they were like, eh, I don't care if I lose. We know that's not true. We know that's not the reality. So, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't think that that is sound logic. Um, so, can the Kings... Beat the Warriors, of course. All right, and I'm gonna echo Brew. Like, of course they can. You know, um, I do think the Warriors will win, but do I think that the Kings can win as well? Yes. Um, but I do believe that the Warriors will win this game. They're on the road, which the Warriors have been great on the road. Um, they do want this. The Kings are not at full strength, and the Warriors are the Warriors. They still have LeBron. <laughs> yeah, they still have LeBron. They still have Steph, Clay, and Draymond, and Steve Kerr for that matter, okay? They know what needs to be done. And I don't get why we give this unconditional respect, specifically now, Nick, give this unconditional respect to like LeBron. LeBron will find a way. Can never count out LeBron. I will never bet against LeBron. All those things. Yet we do not extend that to the Golden State Warriors and Steph Curry. 
who has had more of a true impressive dynasty to me that is than LeBron has his throughout his whole career. I mean LeBron James underperformed with the Heat, only winning two, okay? Didn't win with Cleveland in the first, you know, the first stint. Then only won one with Cleveland when he built his his other team, only won that one time. And then moved to LA had to get AD, and then won in the bubble. And I'm not knocking LeBron's career. LeBron is great and one of the best to ever do it. So this is not a, you know, uh, is, is LeBron great or not? I'm not I'm not trying to debate, you know, get into a whole GOAT debate right now. Because um, again, let me emphasize, I think LeBron is one of the greatest players to ever play in the NBA. And I do not even blame him for moving around. And I don't blame him for not winning a championship in his first stint in Cleveland. But my the, the truth is that he didn't. That's all I'm saying. And so... The Warriors, though, to me, is more impressive. Even if you want to say, well, they had to get Kevin Durant, I don't care. They still did everything they needed to do, and they still won, and they were dominant, and they were ferocious, and they were monsters, and they were beasts, and then they won again in 2022 under significantly harder, more doubted circumstances that would theoretically be equivalent around the same time as LeBron won in the Bumble, which was in the Bumble, in the Bubble, which was significantly easier, significantly easier. Having all this time off, being able to take advantage of the fact that you're bigger and stronger and older and more mature than everyone else, which is a major advantage in the bubble, not having to play on the road, road, not having to travel, like any of the negatives that go against you when you're an older player got completely nullified in the bubble. And if anything, amplified. The older, more experienced teams were able to win out and the younger teams were not. Hence why we got the Miami Heat with the wise old veteran, um, uh uh player in you know in Jimmy Butler and of course LeBron James with the Lakers that helped them significantly to me I know this is up for debate but to me the bubble is a legitimate asterisk the Warriors fourth championship there's no asterisk there that was a hard fault win and it was against a legitimate Celtics team the Celtics that deserved to be in the NBA finals that Miami Heat was not deserving of necessarily being in the finals of the bubble. Again, they were able to take advantage of the bubble circumstances as well um, with Sprostra, Sprostra as their head coach. So I just think that to not give that respect to the Warriors doesn't make sense to me. It just doesn't make sense to me um, that you wouldn't say, ah, I, I think that I don't know if the Warriors have enough, but it's hard for me to doubt the Warriors because of what they do. Like, why you're willing to say, I can't doubt this player or this team because of what they've done in the past, but then you don't uh, you know, give that same logic. And listen, I actually don't agree with that log- with the logic of, well, he's never failed in the past or I never will bet against this person. No, if I think Patrick Mahomes doesn't have the better team and is hobbled or whatever and is going to lose against whatever team, I'm going to say it. I'm not going to be some blanket, you know, state say some give some blanket statement oh never bet against patrick mahomes that's just dumb that's just absurd no matter how amazing you are do you really do you guys think patrick mahomes is going to win 20 more super bowls if he does well then wow you know what i don't know what to say okay but i doubt that's going to happen so it will be appropriate to doubt him in certain circumstances just like it was appropriate to doubt lebron james in certain circumstances so again it's okay to doubt the warriors but the real thing that i'm pointing out is is that People like Nick always make those types of statements. I will never doubt Mahomes. I will never doubt Tom Brady. I will never doubt um, LeBron James. And it's like, well, so then why in this situation? Like, give me the reason then why you will never doubt these players, but then you will not afford that same logic to the Golden State Warriors, specifically Steph, Clay, and Draymond. Where's this line here? Um, Because I want to know it because I'm not seeing it. Um, So... Um, I personally believe I'm betting, I'm banking on the Warriors experience and Steph and Clay and Draymond recognizing they're near the end. And I think that they are going to know what's up and know everything that needs to be done. And I think they are going to come out like their hair is on fire. I do believe that. Um, whether it all works out for them in the end, I have no idea. I've always said this, um, when it comes down to making predictions i don't love them it's not my favorite thing to do um i like post-game analysis over pre-game analysis um so 
Um, and again, you know, the it's two and a half. Uh, you know, the Warriors are giving two and a half. And so you'd have to imagine that, again, that, that practically comes down to a coin flip. I think the Lakers was, what, one point, maybe one and a half. I'm, I'm, I forget exactly what it was. Um, so these are both going to be really close games. And I cannot wait by the time this video posted. Um, the game is going to be going on right now, the Lakers game first. Uh, so we're in for exciting times, and I can't wait. But those are just my thoughts. I would absolutely love to hear yours. Do you think the Warriors are on upset alert? Let me know in the comments below. Whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of, and I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help with the visibility and it really does help combat all the haters and the trolls. Thank you so much and see you next time.